Vintage. The word itself creates immediate interest in provocative conversation. Fairbanks, a historical town with a rich golden past and colorful characters. Now, put them together, vintage and Fairbanks, mix in a little two-stroke oil, throw in some Glenn Miller music. Hundreds of passionate racers and spectators, a beautiful spring day on the Chena River, and you have all the ingredients for a truly memorable one-weekend event. It's the 6th Annual Fairbanks Tired Iron Vintage Snow Machine Race, which draws people to Fairbanks from all over Alaska and from as far away as the Midwest and East Coast. Welcome back to a time when Bill Egan was the governor, when nobody in Fairbanks locked their doors and a gallon of gas cost just 48 cents, and when companies like John Deere, Harley-Davidson, and Montgomery Wards made snow machines. Yes, this was a time when snow machine racing in Alaska was king. If you weren't part of Fairbanks, Alaska in the 60s and 70s, it would be impossible to fully appreciate the flavor of it all. But for those of us that made Fairbanks home during those years, the big earthquake, the flood, the pipeline, and all the other events that made Fairbanks, well, Fairbanks, snow machine racing was a huge part of it all. It was an era. But don't take our word for it. Just ask 88-year-old Cliff Everts or 89-year-old Ray Mackler, who look forward to this race more than anything all year. And it's the least we can do for these Fairbanks pioneers. In just six short years, the Fairbanks Tired Iron has raised more than just spirits and great memories. We have raised over $30,000 for some great local agencies, like the Hospitality House. For 2011, we're expecting our biggest and best tired iron ever, which will include the finish of the 2,000-mile Iron Dog Snowmobile Race, as well as dozens of fun games and events for kids of all ages along the Chena River. So for those not fortunate enough to have been a part of this colorful winter event of Fairbanks Past, this is your chance to experience it. For those lucky enough to have been part of it, it's what they look forward to every winter. The opportunity to relive it.